Yeah, baby. Good morning. Welcome to the uh, Gummies SP1 Emporium at the moment. I've got to tell you, I've got more SP1s than some of them with a lot of SP1s for want of something better to say. So, um, I'm building two SP1s for somebody. Just going to give you an idea, rough idea of the run through. Um, you know the standard SP1 body, right? Okay, what we'll do, we're, we're taking these feed necks off. And then we cut the uh, the actual feet stub off. Get rid of that. Put that to one side. What you'll end up then is this. Then what we do is we bore the uh, feet pull tube out, and we turn up a little mini um, feet net. This will be press fitted into this tube here. When you see that, this part it will be like this, look. Yeah, lovely and low. And then um, you probably think to yourself, well, how are you going to retain that? What we do is, once that's pressed into place, we drill two holes through, like so. Yeah. We then uh, tr tap these holes for a 1032 bolt. Now, the clever bit is, the holes we drill through just slightly burst through inside by about... 0.3 of a mil, or one third of a millimetre, <laughs> so that when we push this back in, and we're happy that it's set in place, we then re-bore through, remembering that we've still got the thread on the far side, when we put the bolts through, the actual bolt will be passing through the wall of the feed tube, so the feed tube won't be able to turn, and you won't be able to pull it out, it'll be retained by the two bolts. Uh, that's where we are so far, just quick. Um, there's your pistol grips with the kick-ups built in. Alright, coming on, coming on, coming on, baby. Brrr. However, get rid of these single triggers and fit double triggers. Uh, available from smartpartpaintball.co.uk. Big Phil down in Kent, we'll sort you out with them. Um, that's everything for today. I'll give you a next head up when uh, this is all together. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, last and final part. Bit of a jump this one. Uh, for what you saw it last time, but I got so involved with it, I didn't want to stop. So uh, it's warm up the day. I've had four ice bones in a row. Oh, I got such a tummy ache. <laughs> anyway. Um, Here's a uh, SP1, the low profile one, uh, aftermarket sort of uh, feed neck on Wow, well, it's not even aftermarket, because I've made it. Um, the kick up's in place, uh, it's all fully serviced, all ready to go. I've already had them running up and testing. Um, freak barrel, ah, it's a tight fit, and it has to be. Um, as you can see, loads of porting on the tip. The only thing I, I don't have is I am really short of uh, freak inserts. I don't have any freak inserts, really. I have one, and I can't just give you one freak insert. I'm giving you two markers, can I? Uh, so, here's that one. So, what we're going to do, is so you do your two markers, but you're going to have to pick up some freak inserts. Just get a 692. A 692 will cover you for everything. There's your second one. Uh, the feed neck on this one is silver. Now these are a real arse. Um, I wish I hadn't used these now. Um, because when you've got your hopper on, you can't get in there to tighten this ring up. And this ring has to be really tight. Uh, so you're going to need a monkey wrench or something. Before you put a monkey wrench on here, put a bit of tape around here. And it will stop the monkey wrench from scratching the alloy. Um, I'll see if I can improve this somehow. But now of course they're set in, I can't take them out again. I see it, they're there for life. Um, it's weird how it works one minute and it doesn't work next. Anyway, so what we're doing with the barrel, um, you get your two freak barrels obviously, uh, with silencers, and then I'm also going to supply you with two standard uh, SP1 barrels, one per marker. Now, um, it's a really basic barrel and it's a bit baggy, but it's great for crappy paint. You can shoot eggs through this thing, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, next thing I've done as well, didn't do a soft nose bolt. These things are so low pressure, they don't need it. Um, so we've gone in a different direction. Because we're not using a QEV, 
I fitted each one of these with um, a hollow bolt and um, the hollow bolt will drop the pressure even further. So, uh, these two are now done. Um, as they stand right now, £125 each. Um, we just do the balance. Uh, I've still got to get some macro fittings. Um, or you can get the macro fittings. I, I don't mind. I can pick them up. I can order them. Um, the only thing, if I'm ordering them, you've got to wait for them. Though, that's the only thing. But you can buy macro fittings on eBay. You can buy three lengths of macro line. Uh, I think they come with free fittings, it's like three ninety nine and £2 post, or it comes out as a fiver or so. So, um, that's that all done. Uh, I'll get back to Browning's tomorrow. Oh, happy day! <laughs> this has been a nice break. <laughs> Alright, um, that's everything. I'll see you later. Dada.